What's going on, everybody? It's Matt, a.k.a. The Lumberjack Landlord. We have our favorite Friday guest, and quite frankly, I think the only guest that we actually regularly hear on the channel, <laughs> Mike Zuber from One Rental at a Time. How's it going, Mike? Are you ready for segment number three? I, I am ready, and I'm so thankful I'm your favorite returning guest when yeah. I'm also the I, only, the only returning guest, yes. <laughs> Maybe that says something about how I do things. I don't know. It's okay. Whatever. Um, but anyway, Mike, in segment number three, what I wanted to talk about was my passion, my penchant, my love of debt. Oh, I love debt. I love it. I think Dave Ramsey just got a shiver. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm I'm the reverse Dave. I'm I'm uh, I'm the anti Dave Ramsey. I'm the I'm the bizarro Jerry. I'm the bizarro Ramsey. If for those yeah. of you who are Seinfeld fans, but Mike, I just love debt. I love debt. Anytime I can get a bank to give me more debt, I'm like, sure, I'll take that debt. And yeah. oh, it's it's going to be cheap too. Yeah, I'll take some of that too. <laughs> so what I wanted to talk to you about was the fact that just kind of talking through that debt structure, because so many of us are raised don't be in debt, pay it all off. Mm. And then some of us are really good at that. And some of us suck at it and have more debt than they know what to do with. But I want to talk about it because I think that people misunderstand the power of debt. And the reason I don't really talk about debt so much is I actually talk about leverage. Mm. I talk about leverage is really the word that I like to use. So, so kind of walk me through it in your mind, because I know that you and I feel a lot the same about money and debt and leverage. Yeah. Yeah. So first and foremost, debt for most people is a, for most people it could really kill them, right? Debt, debt is an instrument. I, I kind of equate debt to a chainsaw, right? A chainsaw sitting there all by itself. It's just a big paperweight, right? However, you fire up, up that chainsaw. It is now so you use it the wrong way you use it on the wrong thing it can kill you or kill people around you or just do horrific things however a chainsaw used by a professional who is trained and use it in safeguards and they you know they tune it up and do all it can do amazing things for you right so debt is absolutely a tool uh most debt is like that chainsaw to a, a you know a five-year-old it's horrifically dangerous to, to nothing so it just keeps building you know you can pay a little pain payments and pay it you know it takes you 12 years to pay the dangerous thing however most financially free individuals that i know love debt because they figured it out they know how to be conservative they know how to make sure they have positive carry they know they, they know how to make sure uh, that debt is that positive tool for them. And most of the people that I know are financially free will actually tell you they wish they could 10X their debt, assuming they can maintain the same ratios. And that's in you know, a billion dollars in debt just to be a billion dollars in debt. He's excited because of the yield that that debt produces for him and his family and his investors. So yeah, I mean, I would love to 10X the debt I have if I could maintain uh, you know, my yield structure across our portfolio, I'd, I'd 100x it if I could. So yes, debt is a positive thing if you know how to use it. Yeah, I mean, you know, try and do what a lot of the big boys are doing, like Barry Stern, like from Starwood Hotels. You know, he goes to Germany, says, we want to take out a loan. Germany says, well, we're negative interest rates right now. But and he said, well, I want $100 million. And they said, we'll give you $100 million for 1%. a hundred million dollars at one percent wow. like mike imagine the day like i would be a thousand units tomorrow a hundred yeah. million dollars at one percent like there's not much out there that you couldn't i mean you could put it at in treasuries <laughs> yeah you could actually <laughs> you know like this is the craziness. So debt is an extremely important tool. You must, must, must use it properly. What's really funny is the better you are at managing debt, the lower price the debt that you go to attain will be. So if you don't have consumer that is debt, amazing. if you don't have car debt, if you don't have all these other crappy debt options out there and all you're doing 
is cleaning up the bad debt and getting nice, pretty clean debt, then guess what? Your rate is going to go down tremendously, tremendously. And that makes then servicing that debt even better. So I always, when people would say, oh, well, you know, when they would ask me the ridiculous question of, am I a millionaire? Like I should tell them. Um, but yeah. when that question comes up, I say, yes, I am. And that means to me that I have more than a million dollars in debt. That's how I qualify it. I'm a millionaire. I am more than a million dollars in debt. And in the school of do what we do or not just what we're saying, I just refied because I believe we're at that precipice where the perfect combination of value of property, price of debt is better than it will likely be in the foreseeable future for a very long time. And so based on that, I've actually done and refied a massive part of my portfolio at a 70% loan to value ratio and pulled out more than seven figures that will then fuel the business for the next couple of years worth of acquisitions and really allow us to you know, drastically attack the market. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Um, not quite the, to that level of number, but yeah, I'm extracting equity in several places. It's just the right thing to do. It is cheap debt that we know we can get greater return on in putting into a different asset. And it's not creating alligators. Yeah. For those of you who have no. attended your course, it's not creating alligators. It's making sure that there's still plenty of debt coverage. You need to make sure that there's still plenty of debt coverage. However, you need to be leveraging what you can leverage in a safe, smart way to ensure that as other opportunities come up, you can create more opportunity for yourself. Well said. Yeah, absolutely. So Mike, where can we find you? Go to your Google search bar and type in one rental at a time. It's just that simple. Mike and I spend a lot of time coming up with great ideas and how we're going to spend time with you guys on a weekly basis. So please make sure you subscribe, lumberjacklandlord.com, lumberjacklandlord on YouTube. And we will pick up with Mike again next week when hopefully there's no more people streaming when videos in his neighborhood. Mike, thanks, thanks so brother. much for the time. Bye. Talk soon.